This is a beautiful shot of me. I thought I would point out. I can't see without these, so these are stay on. Um, I'm doing a deep cleaning right now. Uh, it's it's basically just uh, sea salt and wow, look at all that. Um, sea salt and apple cider vinegar and baking soda. This is the first time I've actually done an actual like soak, I think, in five months. And I've only, I've been washing my hair with apple cider vinegar and baking soda um, and some essential oils like tea tree oil. Um, for the last five months with two occasions where I didn't have said um, ingredients and I really wanted to wash my hair so I used just normal shampoo so, um, I've been doing it it's been about 15 minutes I think and I've just been kind of squeezing my dreads in this massive bowl Got a towel underneath it and a blanket kind of bunched up underneath that. We'll see if this makes things kind of cleaner and tighter. And, uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go and we'll see what it looks like after the fact. So this is after deep clean. Hi, baby. All of these loops. So many loops now. So many. It's crazy. Like, everything's. I mean, and, and it's funny because it's like nice and solid, and then loop, 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 loop. loop. This one's gonna be a bad end. Um, yeah, this, it's gonna be like this. Yeah, I just thought I would show some of our like standard normal hair. <clears throat> but my hair is all sticking to itself, sticking to other ones like crazy right now. So it's very tangly. I do have well, two that I know are definitely congoing. Let's see if I can find them. Of course, my daughter's watching scary Minecraft videos. I can't find them. I was going to wrap around the root so I wouldn't pull them apart anymore, but I figured if I pull them apart, I pull them apart. Here it is. So the, I think, yeah, these two, and you can doing this one-handed. At the root, they're starting to congo, which is good, because I was afraid some of these are pretty small. So I'm just going to let them do whatever. And then uh, this side, it's just as loopy. And then I've got some where the bottoms are looping up. This is so cute. Um, see, I did wrap one just so that I would not pull them apart. And I did a little wrap as I don't want it to get stuck in there. And my hair is so frizzy and sticks right now to everything that um, but it's these two. They're pretty much one dread anyways at the root. So I'm going to let them congo. So uh, I've probably lost a couple to 
Congolian and, and probably gained a couple in like the looser hair, but I don't know. I had counted 69 at one point, I thought, but when I counted it again a couple of days, what, this was like a week ago when I counted 69, or two weeks ago, counted them again a couple days ago, and I only had like 64, so, uh, hopefully it's going down a little bit, because there are some very thin ones. Just thought I would show that's what happens with a deep clean. I've got tons of more loops and tons more shrinkage. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and front part that I showed that's kind of starting to become more of a dread head. You can see some. Here's that newer one that I showed in my last video a week ago. And so it's becoming more like not quite as fluffy. You can see.